Thank you very much. My name is Michael, and uh, I run a small company called The Beige Group. We, we specialize in building businesses. We have failed in a lot of them and have succeeded in quite a few. That the story that Kelvin gave and then the expose that Ishmael gave kind of sums it all. Whether we like it or not, because of where we are, typically in Africa, we are going to have a major challenge with finance. It's going to be with us for a very long time. It's true. Why it is like that, I know. But how to fix it is what Ishmael has taught you. So I'm going to share with you why I think it is like that. And then you guys figure out how you would get out of it. Because the journey is going to be very long for you. And no one would fix it for you. I have been a student of entrepreneurship for about half of my life, my short life. And I have had lots of experiences, but I would like to say that experience that I have had in the last seven years have been the most profound. The last seven years because these have been the years where I have been on full-time entrepreneurship. I was proud to then, I worked somewhere and did my moonshining on the side. So at least by the end of the month, I could look forward to a salary. When I started doing it all alone and I did not have any salary to look forward to, the reality of life hit me and hit me real hard. One thing I have learned, which I personally believe is true, is folks, trust me, no one is in business to help you. Get it. No one is in business to help you. Be they the bank, be they the venture capitalist, everyone would support you because there's something in it for them. So yes, you would have this lofty idea, what, troubleshooter? Yes. Crazy idea and you're thinking it would sell and that, and that, and that. Well, you present it to me, and I'm going to pick your story and look at it with my own lens. And I would ask myself, what is in it for me? That's the reality. So when we go around thinking, we have these brilliant ideas, and why am I not getting the funding it is because you're looking at it from just one side. One of the businesses that we have is called Beige Village. It's a golf resort located about three hours away from Accra. It's located in a mining community. We opened it, I think, in 2011. And when I was putting it up, I had these crazy ideas. People are going to come there over the weekend this and do that. So I go to Ecobank, talk to this fine gentleman, do a nice pitch, and I'm a finance guy. So I do finances real good. Did all the stuff to him. He looks at it and he did me a nice letter. The letter simply says, so what if things don't turn out the way you're projecting? <laughs> and that's true. Four years into the life of that resort, of course, it's doing well, but we had lots of challenges. So simply said, those guys at EcoBank at the time refused to fund me because they had to look at it through their own lenses. So 
So yes, you have a brilliant idea, but that's from your perspective. The person that you want to partner with you will look at it from their perspective, and they are not mandated to help you because funding is not charity. True. And I'll tell you why I think we don't have a lot of patient capital in, in our part of the world, and particularly Ghana. You see, we're a developing country. You would notice that Kelvin raised the money from Malaysia, right? Why did he not raise it from GH? <laughs> There's a lot of private equity money in the West. But here's the reason. It is because a lot of the entrepreneurs in that country and their businesses have lived their useful lives. Those persons that started those businesses have reaped what they wanted to reap, and they're able to now give back. They have businesses that have matured. Some of them have, have diversified on the stock exchange, so they've got all their money back. Once they have all their money back, they have idle cash to want to what? Play. And then they put this idle cash in the care of venture capitalists, private equity firms who look around for where to invest them. We don't have that story in GH. Because we have business leaders who are 65 years and still paying loans. When is the person ever going to fully reap their investment for them to think of being an angel investor in your business? That's a fact. So we don't have a lot of entrepreneurs or businesses that I would say have lived to fulfillment and therefore they don't have so much to give you. Unfortunately, that's a reality. I am not doing charity funding now yet because I'm not even a quarter from where I want to be. So that's one thing. And another thing too is there are a couple of persons who we believe are in town who have money but unfortunately, probably, they didn't get their money from correct sources, so they would not flaunt them and would not therefore want to be seen as investors in your companies. What kind of institutions we require where we are are development finance institutions. These are companies that have patient money that would have the capacity to invest and wait till your businesses reach maturity. Those are the companies or the finance institutions that we need here. But unfortunately, we don't have them. What we have are banks. Banks don't do that. Banks don't do startup funding. They also don't do growth capital. They do working capital. Working capital is bridge funding. The banks would only come to you when you have started, you have survived, and you need something to turn around. That's when the banks will start looking for you. But you can't blame them because the system makes it too risky to risk out. Because like I said, lending to you is in itself a risk. Why should they invest? Why? So that's the reality that we're going to live with for a long time. So what you have to do if you want to get out of this is do exactly what Kelvin did. Push. Keep pushing. And push. That's probably all I can say. But having gone through all of these experiences, there's one thing that I'd like to leave with you. Dream wild. Dream very, very wild executes in moderation. Take your time. Thank you very much and have a good evening.